Hey guys, welcome to my upstairs bookshelves. These are mostly my red books, which is good because today I am going to be doing this activity that I picked out in my TBR. It is to gift one of your books to a friend. Thanks, Catherine. Um, no, I totally said they could be as mean as they wanted and I did, yeah, it's all good. But this has spurred on this video, which is going to be gifting one of my books to a friend, but I'm taking it a step further. We're actually going to be going through and decluttering my bookshelves. So these are mostly books that I've read. Uh, most of the unread ones are in my office and my bookshelves are a disaster. I have, I don't even know where it is on here, somewhere on here, there are gifts that I keep forgetting to give people that I bought them for Christmas. So yeah, we're not cleaning the shelves. That's a video for a different day, but I am going to pull a bunch of books out so I have space for more books and maybe space for like actually styling them a bit and then there's going to be another little twist that i'm going to be doing that is going to be a part of my like book buying for the next portion of the year so anyway first i'm going to go through i'm going to pick a bunch of books off my shelves i want to get rid of i'll show you all the books because people enjoy unhaul videos myself included um and then i will tell you which books i'm giving to a friend i have an idea for an entire series but as I go through the shelves, I might change things up. So let's just get started going through the shelves. unhaul but before I show them to you I wanted to tell you about a little twist I'm gonna be doing on my book buying for the next let's say till my birthday which is close to the end of May somebody commented a while ago on one of my YouTube videos and I don't remember who commented and I don't remember which video I tried to like search some phrases in my uh, comment section to try to figure it out and I don't know so I'm sorry if this was your idea hopefully you don't mind me stealing it um, I would love to give you credit but I don't remember who it was someone commented recently and said that I don't know if it was for the year or what for the next little while they are rewarding themselves for reading their own books and at first when I read the comment I was like oh good you you do your thing and now I'm like no, I'm going to join in on this. So I think the original comment said that they were giving themselves $3 for every book of their own that they read and they could use that like th that $3 goes can go to new books. And I can't find the comment to like refresh my memory on exactly what it said. And I think I'm going to try that for the next little while. So I'm going to modify this a little bit to make it work for myself. I am going to, I think I'm going to give myself $4 for every book of my own that I read and then I'm going to give myself an additional dollar if I unhaul it or I will just give myself $5 for unhauling a book I haven't read. Does this seem reasonable? How many books of my own do I read a month? Maybe on a really good month, maybe like 12? So that'd be like $48. Okay, that's without unhauling any. We can make this work. We can make this work till my birthday. Um, so I'm going to start with a little bit of a surplus here because I'm getting rid of some books, some of which I've read, some of which I haven't. But I wanted to add that spin onto my book buying and reading for the next while. So I'll be giving myself $5 in my fake bank account here for every book that I haven't read and just $1 for the ones I have read because I have... I haven't read any of these this month. Let's get into this. The first thing is a trilogy that I haven't read. So that's $15 for me right there. It's um, Stephen Lawhead's 
uh, the Dragon King trilogy. I wasn't sure if I was going to read these, so maybe this is a bit of a cheat, right, to start the video, um, start the unhaul off. Jared picked these up and he read, I don't know if he actually finished them. He definitely was skimming a bit and he wasn't very interested. I think this is one of Stephen Lawhead's first series, so I hear other ones are better. So we're going to get rid of this. Oh yeah, and then I was also, maybe you guys can weigh in on this. I'm going to try to bring as many of these as I think my used bookstore will take in and get credit for the books. Now does that credit count in addition? Or how does this work? Can I still get $5 for each of these books plus the credit that they give me? Tell me your thoughts. We'll see how we can figure this out. Okay, so there's those ones. I don't know anything about them. Next one is a series I've been holding on to. I have in perfect condition. Um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get rid of it until my daughter read it because I thought maybe she would enjoy it more. She's now read the first book, wasn't very interested. So we've got Incarceron and Safiq. These are in absolutely perfect condition. I don't know where I found them at one point. Um, this is like steampunk fantasy. I read the first book, I think two years ago, and I was never interested to pick up the second one, but I thought she might like it, so I didn't want to get rid of it. But she wasn't very intrigued. She's also definitely changing her taste. She's not as much into fantasy as she was years ago, so time to get rid of those. And then I have James L. Rubart's The Man He Never Was. I enjoyed this book. It's very, um, gives me Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde vibes um, with a bit of a Christian twist. It's a little bit, his writing's a little bit Ted Decker-esque feeling, but I have enjoyed his writing more than Ted Decker. Um, yeah, but it's just not one I think I will reread or I don't know very, know very many people that would be interested in it, so I like to borrow my books out to people, but I think I'm just going to get rid of this one. Then we have What I Carry. I did quite enjoy this book. This has a really cool cover. I love, I love the purple and all the different elements that are going on there. Um, it's a YA story about a girl in foster care, and I did enjoy it, but it was like, I don't think I would ever recommend my daughter reading it. The, the YA-ness was a little much for me. Um, well, it was okay for me, but I don't really care to recommend it. Um, and I'm never going to reread it, so this one's going to go. Now here is the series that I am getting rid of. It is the Intervention series. I don't know what the actual series title is by Terry Blackstock. This is the one I'm going to be giving to a friend as Catherine's activity prompt wanted me to do. Technically this is supposed to be like February. We're doing it in January. I think that's okay. My game, my rules, right? So we got Intervention, Downfall, and Vicious Cycle. I don't know if that's the exact order, or if those last two, I never remember which one goes where. Possibly Vicious Cycle and then Downfall. Anyway, um, I did enjoy the first book, and then the next two, just it just felt like it all dragged on, and the family just felt like they had a bit of a, a hero complex, and it was getting a little annoying. So I'm never going to reread these, I don't think. Then I have a set of very different books. Um, this is the, the companion library books. I have The Wizard of Oz, Arabian Nights and Aesop Fables, Five Little Peppers, Alice in Wonderland, and Through the Looking Glass, Anderson's Fairy Tales, Grimm's Fairy Tales, Black Beauty, The Call of the Wild, Gulliver's Travels, and Treasure Island. A lot of these I have in different copies and I don't need these just sitting on my shelves. I bought these when my kids were younger. I thought we would read them together and it's just not happening. So that's that. And then my last one here, I think, I didn't go through my unread shelves. I thought I would save those for when I'm a little more desperate in the future when I want to buy some books. Okay, cutting in from the next day, but I found another one that I want to get rid of. I enjoyed this book, but the second book wasn't as good, and I hear the third book isn't really worth reading, so why keep book one? It's unfortunate, because I feel like it really could have gone in a cool direction, but I'm not going to keep it then. Um, my last one here, though, is Iscariot by Tosca Lee. I read this one... Oh, it's been a while. I think we did it for a Patreon book club. 
near the beginning of my Patreon. Um, and I found it interesting, but it's just another one of those I don't think I'll reread or like rave and what really want to recommend. So that will be my last one I get rid of for today. So there you go. There is an unhaul, a bit of what I'm doing for my book buying in the future, a glimpse at my very messy bookshelves, which I will probably do a video rearranging them. If you have suggestions on how I should rearrange them, you can let me know those as well. And one of these days we'll have to do this same thing for my TBR shelf. Um, yeah, so thanks for being here guys. Let me know, have you gone through your bookshelves recently? Did you get rid of a bunch of books or do you keep like a small bookshelf of books that you really love?